Hey Cancer, thank you so much for joining. So we're gonna go ahead and do your love reading. This is gonna be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And then the cards that came out right as I was picking up on that energy. We have the Anchor, we have the Stork, and then we do have the Bridge here. So definitely confirming that. Um, and so if this kind of sounds like something that either you know, you need to speak something to somebody or if you feel some form of communication coming or if you, you know, feel like you could resonate with this reading. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see. I'm also hearing Jurassic Park. Okay, so that could be a sign for somebody. Let's see what comes up here for this then. So tell us more than spirit about this message here today for whatever group of people that we are tapping into. So what do they need to know here if this reading is for them? Um, about this communication, this speaking of truth, whatever this is that you want to bring through today. So tell us about this. Yeah, this has been definitely for somebody. Again, this is going to be more specific. You have been in a no contact situation or you may have had a recent um, argument or falling out with somebody close to you. Again, probably romantically. And I feel like there's this feeling of most of you, it's the person actually connected to you who has been feeling a desire and an urge recently to make amends or to reach out to you. Um, and I'm hearing shot myself in the foot. So maybe somebody feels that way that they shot themselves in the foot. Uh, again, I know I don't know what this is. Maybe, maybe you feel that way. Um, we have the four of swords. Yeah, so for most of you, if this reading is for you, um, it has been a period of separation, no contact, uh, maybe a period of somebody just kind of pondering, reflecting, you have been doing this. And um, this is for most of you very specific. I'm getting now, it's, it's getting more specific as we go. Somebody who um, you both feel like this connection's not over. You may have even talked about this at some point and how you feel <clears throat> that your connection is not over or that it's you know, one day, you know, you'll talk again, or you didn't feel like when you ended things, that it was truly going to be the last time. Um, and that's what I'm getting here for whoever this is for. So let's see, tell us more than spirit about this, please. Uh, yeah, and I'm just channeling here more information. I'm, I'm hearing spirit say, we are trying to guide them or we are trying to guide you. So there's very much of a higher power here with that stork. Yeah, the page of cups, definitely a strong message here that somebody it's like the divine is trying to lead somebody to reach out to you or for you maybe to reach out, you know, um, it does not have to be, you know, certain genders can only reach out. I know there's a comment about that in a video I did a while ago. Um, whoever wants to reach out, if it comes from your heart, then I would just disregard the label of whoever needs to reach out first. It's just something here, though. Um, I am getting it's mostly from that person's end with the reading, but, you know, whoever feels like reaching out. Uh, that's what this is here. And there's very much been a feeling for a while of sort of like looking at you and thinking that um, when is the day going to come that I can reach out or I've been wanting so much to reach out, maybe even someone who's been admiring you from a distance. Uh, I think that's also been coming through. But yes, we have the King of Cups here. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting a strong message here. I'm hearing I, what is that phrase? I'm terrible with those. I made my bed and now I have to lay in it, something like that. And I'm hearing it's again, mainly coming from a person connected to you, unless you want to reverse the roles. Um, I feel like somebody feels very left out and they feel like they had made the wrong decision and that they have, um, you know, been disconnected from you. And it feels like now there's this heavy feeling actually of the heart in the heart chakra of making a mistake and of feeling that there is a desire to, you know, make that better or to make amends here with the situation. Um, oh yeah, and they're actually bringing me back to a message I had just before I started the reading and they're bringing me back to it again. Um, you know how some people, I don't know why they showed it like this, it's not something that I do, but you know when we're like sealing a letter and some people kind of like lick their finger to put the letter or something like that, or to, uh, yeah, or lick the letter. I was seeing that and now they bring it, brought it back to me here with the Page of Pentacles of some kind of physical letter. So again, I know that won't be for everybody, but 
there could be someone who actually wants to physically send you a letter um, or they've drafted something to you. It could even be, it doesn't have to be through a letter, it could be on a text message or something, but um, they've seemed to have drafted something to you. And Spirit's giving a side note here that for some reason they're saying this is how you'll know who they are. I don't know if they look like this or that they could be a water sign, but there's a message here for somebody that needs a confirmation that this is this card here, King of Cups, is how you're gonna know who they are. Okay? Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or they could look like this, or maybe they, I don't know, turkey here, maybe they drink. Um but let's see. Yeah, so with the Page of Pentacles. This is definitely, um, I'm also hearing Capricorn, so they seem to want to give hints here in this reading today for people to know who exactly it is. Somebody here could be a Capricorn as well. <clears throat> I'm hearing I'll do better this time. I'll do better this time. Ace of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is, for some of you actually, this could be someone that you, again, have had a temporary separation with, as in um, you were actually in a long-term relationship, not for everybody, but for some of you, you were in a long-term relationship, or you were in a even a marriage, maybe for a few of you, and it's like, there's still a connection between you both, you have not severed this completely, even if it's, even if you're distant in the physical world, you have not severed this connection completely, um, either through energy or telepathy, or you still have contact here and there. Um, and it's that feeling of kind of like, I will do better this time. Um, somebody here could be a musician. These won't be for everyone, these details, but... Yeah, there's very much of a feeling of coming full circle, okay? So it's a feeling, two of cups, yeah, the queen of wands, the eight of uh, wands. Like I was saying earlier, if this reading is for you, there's been almost like an understanding on some level that you were to revisit this connection. Uh, maybe it's like you felt that we, you know, when I'm in a better place, we will, I will revisit things with you. Or um, when I have this certain goal, whatever that is completed, then we will revisit this. There is something about that. And I feel like now with the Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands, something is coming full circle. And they're drawing me back now to the original message of, that I was saying about the throat and somebody needing to speak. Um, it's almost going to be something that... It's a few things because for some of you it is a compromise. So it's going to take both of you speaking openly. It's going to take both of you really approaching this from an open angle. Um, so, you know, when it's like, you know, we've completed that circle kind of, and then now, you know, this person can meet you halfway or they can um, start talking about this or they could initiate the conversation, but then it's also like you are initiating it as well, or you're at least um, compromising. So there's something here about that for this reading, okay? Um, there's some dog hair here. here. What else does, does the viewer need to know if this reading is for them? They, what you need to know as well is that you seem to kind of intimidate this person though, okay? So you may be also a fire sign, you don't have to be, but you could be just very confident within yourself or you've really stepped into a lot of confidence, even if you weren't like that maybe previously. Um, and what you need to know is that you do intimidate this person. And so it's something where you both though, you mutually you have both the desire to reconnect with this. So if you're sitting there and thinking that, you know, you're still angry or you don't want this connection, it's probably not again for you. This is two people who both want this. Um, and I feel like with the, with the um, page of pentacles here, you both have a desire to work on things together is what I'm getting here for this reading. And I am getting this individual here, this person that you'll know who they are by seeing them here, King of Cups. Um, they have a lot of things to tell you. It's almost like they've been holding this within. And that could be why they are referencing this card because maybe, like, I mean, the King of Cups can be very sensitive and especially in this deck here, for whatever reason, it looks like he has some secrets or there's something kind of, um, something that he holds within himself here with the looks like he has like rosy cheeks so maybe some kind of a, like shyness or just some secrets that want to come out even to just about feelings you know maybe like I want to really express my feelings towards you and this is kind of what this is all about here 
Um, so let's get a little bit more information from a different deck then and see what else we need to know. So if this reading is for them, Spirit, what else do you want them to know about this? Wow, I'm hearing a really strong message here again. Something about I've tried to move on, but it didn't work, or I've tried to let go, but it didn't work. Um, this person could be very busy with their finances, with the Five of Pentacles here too. Uh, that could also be how you may know who they are. There is a feeling here of, I'm hearing, yeah, again, can we just start over? Can we dust this off? Something like that just keeps coming up here. This person has a lot of passion for you. So there's two cards now that has come up about someone who may be consumed with like either this, the city life, maybe a busy lifestyle, um, corporate job, something like that for some of you. And it's like this person is someone who is quite different than you as well. You both complement each other, but you're both very different. Um, there is something like that to where this person could be very distant from you. That's where I'm getting, you know, the whole reading was talking about that with the stork and the bridge. Um, they could be at a distance from you or you both have taken quite some time to be apart from one another. And so you may have grown apart or you may just have different lifestyles or different, you know, something about you is definitely different. But at the same time, there's like an irresistible allure to you as well is what I'm getting. Um, so tell us a little bit more then, Spirit, about this message for whoever this is for. What do they need to know here? Yeah, so we have fading. This could definitely have been someone who was fading from your life or you both have been fading away from each other. Again, especially if it's been a while, maybe. Um, and I'm hearing this person feels like they focused on the wrong things, which is coming up as this. They focused on, yeah, you could mirror this person too. You, They focused on maybe the, you know, not that it's a bad thing or anything to focus on career, but somehow they may have suppressed a lot of feelings. You know, maybe they were so focused on this that they pushed away their emotions for you at the time. Um, and there's this bittersweet feeling because of the fact that you both do have this connection, you know, with the Two of Cups here. Whether you had just like a brief encounter, um, but for most of you, you, you've established some level of like romance, friendship, even deep both, you know, deep friendship and, and both here. So it's something where you both really do mirror each other. This could be a divine counterpart or a twin flame for some of you to where that's why you complement each other well. Um, and it's like this person feels like they made a mistake because they focused on the wrong things. Um, yeah, there's they want to have there's hope here. There's something where very specific is coming up. They hope that you would respond to their message or to their approach. And I'm getting something about maybe social media for some of you um, where they may kind of send you a message or they may send kind of a hint your way that they're still very nostalgic about you, that they can't stop thinking about you. And they're kind of hoping that, you know, this bridge will be mended between you both. And that's kind of going back to me now to the reference of the whole throat thing and the words that want to come out because I feel like um, they're a little overwhelmed. This person could be definitely have water in their chart, I would say for a lot of you. They could, you know, I guess they don't have to be, but since this is kind of more of a specific reading, I would say for a lot of you, they have water at least somewhere in their chart prominently, um, or they just get very overwhelmed emotionally by the events of their life. And there's a very bittersweet nostalgic, or you both just had a very watery connection, if that makes sense, to where you had a very emotional bond, emotional connection. Um, but yeah, with this hope here, they're hoping that this can be bridged. They're really hoping that this can, that you would still be receptive to them because they seem to really like look up to you or see you as this queen of wands person that, um, you know, it's like a, it's like a shot kind of in the dark maybe, or, or it's, it's maybe not that much, but it's something like that to where, um, it's just sort of a distant star in some ways, but again, very emotional. The moon's here. So cancer, maybe what else? Again, flew out. Patience, romanced. Guided, journey, and caught. Okay, what else, spirit? Um, yeah, so this is something like I was saying earlier that maybe you both had an understanding or a hope or a desire that you could reconnect again one day. Um, and I feel like... I'm hearing that song, 
I'll be right there waiting for you. Who sings that song? I think it's Eli Elliot Yaman, I think it is. Something about right there waiting for you. Or maybe I'm confusing with a different song. Oh no, there's a song called Wait For You by Elliot Yaman. I don't think that's a song I'm picking up on, but I can't tell. It could be the same song. Or there's another one called... And I will wait for you. Yeah. Now I lost it because now I'm singing the 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 song, the Elliot Yaman song. But um anyway, I do feel like this person could go to the casino, okay? I'm getting a lot of specifics are coming up here. So again, I don't know, maybe some of you need confirmation for this. Um, it won't be the case for everybody, but something is giving me that impression here too. And I, well, I heard casino and then now I'm being drawn to these stacks of coins. But um, they definitely went through a phase, if not still. I might actually extend this reading because I it's kind of like there's a deep feeling here and I just, I feel like it's important um, for someone who needs to hear this. So I might do an extended and go deeper into this King of Cups here and what they're going through, what they're thinking and feeling. But um, yeah, this person may have had like a gambling addiction for a few of you, or they had kind of energies where they, again, they sort of suppress their feelings, whether they did that through gambling, whether they did that through um, any form of addiction or just being very much focused on things that are material and um, kind of dense is what I'm getting. And you maybe were the opposite or you took the opposite route. You didn't follow that route that they did. Um, and so that's kind of why I'm hearing the name Kayla for somebody. That's kind of why that happened. Also K names as well. Yeah, this person is really in regret. I'm, I keep hearing stuff and now I'm hearing the joke was on me the whole time or something to where there's a lot of that coming from this King of Cups, a lot of regret, a lot of bittersweet feelings. And for some of you, I'm getting the message too that they may not, for most of them, they're kind of aware of this, you know, and again, I'll go into it a little bit more in the extended, but for most of them, they're aware of this, but for some of them, they may not actually be super aware that like for example maybe they're just beginning to see that things fell apart in their life or that the route that they chose didn't kind of go the way that they wanted it to and so they kind of feel it's hard to put into words but somehow or another they feel and acknowledge that the joke was on them even if they don't directly connect it to losing you you know they may not sit there and say that i lost you and that was you know if that makes sense but it's it's a part of it though Okay, I'm just going to get a few more. Um, again, I'm not going to make this one super long and I'm not going to do like a super long extended either. Um, but I just want to get a little bit more here. Anything else here for this reading that the viewers need to know? So what about it before we... Yeah, so what about it? Yeah, this just flew out, the seductress. Again, a lot of you, if this is for you, you're really in a very Queen of Wands energy right now, um, which is somebody who's very attractive. This person is really wants you it says who you want wants you um, getting what you want someone is enamored with you so i'm getting i'm getting somebody like a vision of someone on a bicycle and it's like they are sweating because they've they've been on the bicycle for like a thousand miles but it's in order to get to you because that's the only way that they could get to you and it's like they're willing to do whatever it takes i mean Again, we'll have to clarify. I don't know if they're willing to do whatever it takes, like, you know, completely, but there's some kind of energy of that, of like, at least that's how they're feeling emotionally. That's how they're kind of viewing it from their point of view. Like, I would do anything for you, or um, in my mind, in my heart, I know that I have to, like, make this big trek to, to see you, or I need to, um, even if you're not at a distance, it's just something like that feeling of, like, this is you. Like, I'm seeing you as this. The, the, I'm getting the Empress too, like the Empress, the Queen of Wands, the Seductress. And now the kind of energy has been so much sort of turned in your energy or in your favor to where now this person's beginning to want to make actions that you've never seen before maybe, or that's what, again, they're thinking in their mind that they want to do. Um, yeah, this is a very telepathic bond. Okay, that's why, again, it's not going to be for all of you. This is somebody who you have a strong psychic cord with. 
Um, for a lot of you, I'm getting a twin flame connection. It could be just a very deep soul connection for sure. And it's something to where you can't shake them off. They can't shake you off. And even if you've been able to kind of shake this off, maybe because because you are kind of in this energy. So maybe you're beginning to um, really kind of look elsewhere maybe. And it's like this person now is in this very emotional, very much pulled to you energy. And um, again, I keep hearing that the mistake was on me. I keep hearing where the joke was on me. So this could even be something too, to where they're beginning to be very aware of like the psychic uh, bond between you both. And it's almost like making it kind of uncomfortable in a sense, because maybe they have just become sort of unnumbed to it. And so it's something that is, can, can be overwhelming, you know, for people like that, that um, it's like, yeah, I'm definitely getting that feeling to where this person doesn't know how to handle this. And that's why I had heard too, they could almost be sort of scrambling around trying to make the right, like, how do I do this? How do I go about this? Something about where they're, I don't know why this is like this, but it's like there's such a tug where it makes them feel almost very overwhelmed and crazy. Um, so maybe they, for some of you, maybe they've seen something of you recently. Others of you, I mean, I guess it could be someone that you met kind of recently. I mean, for most of you, it is that separation. But like I was saying, you know, maybe you met like, let's say a month or two ago, and it was just this very intense connection. And then they pulled away for a little bit, or you had a misunderstanding. Um, if that's not the case, it could be a separation, but something has kind of changed, you know, for whatever reason, um, in, in which they've begun to feel you much more deeply than ever before. And, um, and I'm hearing actually it could be because this person has freed up their time and space. Okay. So they may have ended something in their life or they may have stopped working so much, you know, or they may have decided to quit doing things that sort of lower their vibration something happened to where their energy has become more free which then leaves space for them to feel you and the same goes for you since i think that you could probably mirror this person if this is for you to where you've also done that so if that makes sense like you both have more freedom kind of in your energy to where the energy can now swirl and move where before it may have been sort of constricted or um, things were just not the right time. Things were not aligned. So there is that feeling here. So what's next here? What's next here for this here? Um, okay, we have right place and we have unanswered prayers. Interesting. It does say here, universe has something better, divine timing. And then we have the right place. So this was, I just did a collective reading and a lot of this is coming through. And this queen of wands is wearing a yellow dress and here too. And in that collective reading, there was a lot of focus on the queen of wands too, like the rocket I was getting, the fire, the passion, the flames. Um, and in that reading too, there was a message in the extended about reconciliation with somebody. So this is kind of connecting. Um, but I do feel like, let's see, what is this? The outcome here. So for some of you, what this is, is that this has been the wrong time for a while, like we've seen, and then there's going to be something where it's going to come in quite suddenly. Others of you, this could be that either you will not be kind of interested anymore, um, or because of this seductress energy that you are in, um, it's almost like everything at once which again has been coming up and everything at once can come in for you where you may have really your your assortment and your options to choose from but for a lot of you it feels like a divine timing is coming in like a divine meeting is coming in yeah and at the bottom we have the word wow fading again so yeah very strong message about a lost love here um, a connection, see it says a new connection tapering off for some of you, or an on and off energy or something to where there was a lost love feeling as well. Um, something which felt like it was very strong, or at least, I mean, this person seems to be very enamored with you, uh, but it kind of like, there was, there's too much pretend here about someone moving on, but actually they didn't move on. Uh, and maybe at some point it was both of you, because at this point I'm kind of getting it's more of them rather than you, but take it how it's going to resonate with you. 
Okay, so last card, and then I will go into the extended. I didn't plan to, but it seems like this is a kind of interesting reading. Um, so I will do an extended, but what is the outcome here? Lost. What is the outcome of this connection? Unbridled. Yeah, honestly, it just kind of feels like something where there's an open road ahead and there's a very unbridled feeling to the events that are going to come in. But to be honest, you know, and this has been coming up too, it, it keeps coming up all the time. It's something where with outcomes, there's many things possible. So um, yeah, we'll focus more on like their feelings, their thoughts and feelings towards you because the outcome here... I don't know, it just feels like that horse is keeps coming out or, or keeps popping out at me here of like just a horse that's running free in the wild and they don't really have necessarily any tie to anything, but they feel very happy doing that. They feel very happy being a wild horse. So maybe that's how you feel. I kind of feel like that's how you feel or that's how you're going to be feeling if you haven't yet with all this, like it says here, carefree and wild. Yeah, I didn't see that carefree and wild so i guess it depends you know kind of what you're looking for or how you feel about this uh, again i'll have to go into them to see what they're feeling and their intentions because i don't maybe it's something where it is kind of like a wild unbridled passion between you both that could be coming forward or coming in but others of you are are okay with kind of being in that unbridled feeling so i'm just going to close this up with a final message from this person and then we will get more messages in the extended so what does this person want to say to you? Because they definitely seem to want to say something. So if this reading is for the viewer, what does this person want to say to the viewer? Yeah, I just keep getting such a heavy regret here. We have, it was a right person, wrong time situation. In a perfect world, I would be with you right now. So again, this is just confirming for a lot of you or for all of you, if you resonate with this, this was someone that it was a right person, but it was the wrong timing at some point in the past. And this person is feeling the distance between you both and they're having trouble with how do I close that gap? And that's kind of what the reading has been about, that they seem to want to do this. Um, they feel that for some of you it's like you are this wild horse and so it's almost like how can they really tame you though how can they get to you see there's a feeling of like the roads did it take us too far apart or can we really work through this with the railroad track it's like there's a curiosity is the right word there's a curiosity for what would happen between us if we were to give this a chance again or if i were to follow my intuition because this person again is very much pulled by the moon here they're very pulled intuitively to you on a level that they are beginning to really understand and you most likely with a mirror probably feel this too because otherwise it wouldn't be a mirrored connection um, and that's definitely something too where yeah the universe is guiding you both together see that's why i said in the beginning they feel like the universe is guiding them to, to you and back to you so i will leave it here uh, yeah at the bottom they've seen your glow up definitely very much so um, i will leave it here and i will go to the extended again i'll probably do like a 25 minute extended i don't want to make it like incredibly long because i will do a love story reading too but I will look more into this person for those of you who need extra confirmation and clarity about what it is that they're truly thinking and feeling, their intentions and actions, and what they want to say to you more so. So yeah, I will leave this here. Um, I hope that this reading could resonate with whoever it's supposed to reach. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below. I would appreciate it. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care and lots of love.